New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Not very long ago, a company reached out to me and they asked if I would take a look at one of their air compressors. They had seen some of my other videos where I had reviewed some portable 12 volt air compressors and they said that their product is a little bit bigger and a little bit better. I get emails like this all the time and I normally just politely tell them I'm not interested. However, this one did look to be a pretty beefy air compressor and I thought I would share it with you guys. Anybody that watches my channel knows that I really like high volume air compressors. They're, they're great for larger trucks and vehicles like RVs where you really need a lot of volume. You want to fill up that tire quickly and you need something that can handle high PSI and not overheat. This particular style of air compressor typically fits that bill. But what really caught my eye is this is rated at 11.65 CFMs. Now that's at zero PSI, but it's still rated at seven CFMs at 30 PSI. All of that being said, if the specs are right, we should be able to fill a tire very quickly and we're going to find out today. Now everything you see here is what came in the original packaging. There is a carrying case. It's your typical zip up nylon carrying case. Nothing to brag about, but it will get the job done. There is 25 feet of air hose, which is extremely cool. It's not that slinky style air hose that kind of is a pain in the butt to work with. It's a real actual air hose. I appreciate that. The power cable is extremely bulky and thick, but that's because this guy is going to pull a lot of amps when you're using it. There is eight feet of power cord here, and they also gave you two different styles of air chucks in case you prefer one over the other. This is your standard flip top air chuck. You put it on the chuck, pull the lever down and it stays in place. And the one that comes with it is a screw on type air chuck. These are okay, but sometimes it's hard to get to the valve stem and it's hard to turn these to get it onto that valve stem. So you can change that out if you want to, or you could even go in aftermarket. It really doesn't matter. The included air gauge, there's really nothing special about it, but I did notice that it does have a relief valve on the back side. So if you over inflate your tire a little bit, you can kind of let the air off here to get the air pressure to exactly what you need. It also comes with a manual and in the bottom of the bag with the manual is some accessories to allow you to inflate mattresses or basketballs or other items like that. Overall construction seems to be pretty good. It's built pretty well. It's on some rubber feet to absorb some vibrations. Everything is pretty much metal except for this plastic piece here and these chrome caps on the top. It is extremely heavy and I kind of expect that because it has a very large motor and it is a dual head compressor. On the back of the unit you're going to find a rocker switch to turn it on and off and it also comes with a little leader hose with a compressor fitting so you can detach or attach a 25 foot hose that they give you. Now I can keep talking about these features but what we really want to know is how well does it work. So let's go ahead and find Find out. You're looking at the tire on my service truck. It has an LT 235s, 85R 16s, and we're going to fill it to 50 PSI, which is where I normally keep it. I have let almost all of the air out. We're holding about three PSI, so we're not quite sitting on the rim, but we're definitely pretty darn close to zero. <laughs> So we're not quite there, we're right about 40 PSI. Now you do have to turn the compressor off to get an accurate reading on these gauges. So let's go a little bit more. And we're right about 53 PSI, maybe 52. So this filled up very quickly for a portable air compressor. Something to point out is both air compressor heads are just lukewarm. Now it is a cool day. We're right around 30 degrees today, but there is hardly any heat at all to the air compressor head. So you could run this for an incredibly long time and it's not going to overheat on you. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. I do think it's big and bulky and it is also incredibly heavy. However, if you want something that's going to fill a tire very quickly and not overheat, this is a great option. Option. Another thing to consider is compressors of this size are typically not budget friendly. This one comes in right around $200. But I could see a compressor like this being very useful on specifically vehicles like RVs or trucks where you really need that high volume or even in off-roading situations where you're constantly deflating or inflating your tires to get better traction. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.